While Team Bablu won the BMNC Pakistan Championship, Team I-8 won our hearts with their brilliant performance and exemplary firepower. Bablu won the tournament with 270 points, out of which 152 came from placements and only 118 came from kills. Naturally, this was bound to happen when they had 5 chicken dinners. Team I-8, on the other hand, had only 2 chicken dinners with 108 placement points, but it was a lot more interesting to watch them because they had 148 kill points. This was the team with the highest skills in the tournament. There were two major contributors to this list. They were Crypto, who got 48 kills, and Johnny, who got 47. These were the top two players of the kill leaderboard. Crypto dished out 9,425 damage and had an average survival time of 19 minutes and 39 seconds. Damage over 9,000 is no joke, and because of his mind-blowing stats, he was crowned as the MVP of the tournament. I-8 started off slow. Their first few games were mediocre. Even though they managed a second place finish in the second game, it was without Crypto. That being said, there were some moments that redeemed him. In Game 4, while rotating into Katka, I-8 made some mistakes and lost two of their players. But even with the odds stacked against them, Crypto clutched out a 1 vs 3 fight against Lost Esports. Good steps over there so beautifully, but Wolf realizing this opportunity that he can pin down the last and final player and he goes in with an M4. Look at that! Crypto clutching on for his team and doing a 1v3 brilliantly over there. He's got... At the end of the first day, I-8 Esports were 5th on the overall rankings and Crypto 2 was 5th on the kill leaderboard. It was a downright mediocre start. I-8 seemed to be trying new things. Their usual drop location used to be in the military base, but they started to experiment by dropping into new locations in some games and switching back to the old ones when it seemed fit. On day 2, they had an explosive start and they blew the opposition out of the water. In the opening game of day 2, I-8 established great zone control over the military base, their original home turf. Crypto was controlling the entire eastern border of the circle and trashing players of Team Star. Then North Esports entered the fray and they too fell victim to his firepower. To top it all off, he got a double kill against Squirty in the final battle to win the chicken dinner. Now, but Johnny Crypto, they're making sure to pin them down and even use him is getting a revive right now. Wolverine gets eliminated as we speak in the last day. Wolverine Johnny too was popping off in this game. He got 9 kills while Crypto got 7. The team had a total of 22 kills along with the chicken dinner. This was a huge game for them and they went bonkers. Even though the rest of the day was lackluster, they continued the tradition of dominating the first game of each day. Once again on day 3, the first game was absolutely massive. Most teams would be happy if they got more than 10 kills in a game, but this team pulled off 21. Crypto was the MVP of this match with 7 kills. He wiped the floor with this competition. Gives out his location. Freestyle leaving us at the first part. Still being confirmed from the side of ZXI. <laughs> 20 kills. 20 kills? How better could this be? With these two huge games, Team I-8 skyrocketed to the top of the leaderboard. Johnny and Crypto had already established themselves in the top three fraggers of the tournament and the only other person who was there was Volvery from Team QWERTY. This whole first game of the day blessing continued as Crypto popped off at the start of day 4 as well. He pulled off a 1 vs 3 against Max Esports and got 6 kills. The highest fragger in the game. Number of kills. Max Esports going towards Team Only. With a blind rush going to it, Crypto will take the maximum out of this. One knock. The maximum is knocked down and the boss is down. Hacker in this situation. Rahi will do the solo survivor again. Whoa. The players of Max Esports are but red. Even though it was an average game for his team, he continued to pad his stats. Johnny and Crypto were behemoths in their own right, as they were able to dig their team out of a difficult position using just their fragging firepower. We got to see this in match number 22, when they had a decent position in the circle at first, but later got zone screwed. Johnny and Crypto picked up 5 and 4 kills respectively to finish second. Perhaps the most intense moment was in the penultimate game of the tournament, where they and the champions Bablu were locked in an intense rivalry. They were the last two teams standing, competing for the dinner in Sandhawk. We saw some great nades from Crypto as he got 5 kills that game. But despite his best efforts, I-8 did not win that game. I believe Dani and Hold 420 will be a good match for this ladder. Otherwise, it will be difficult. No. There you go, Khan 420! Acing the church in the mirror for his team. Bablu got the chicken dinner, and with that, they tied the scores. Unfortunately, even though Team I-8 were a naturally aggressive team, they doubted themselves and went for a rather passive playstyle in the last game of the tournament. 
they dropped it on the main island but then migrated towards the military island. However, this longer rotation cost them their lives as they were late to enter the circle and got gate kept. And thus, they lost the edge that they had and conceded the trophy to Team Bablu. But Crypto still won our hearts. This isn't the first time that he has put on impressive performances. He still got the highest skills in the tournament and he was crowned as the MVP. His headshots and nading skills are beyond compare and we hope that we continue to see this in the future as well.